Welcome everyone in the second part from Rise of Kingdoms. Today, a few words about avoiding mistakes. Common mistakes for many players, including myself. So you can learn from my videos and from my mistakes. You're not going to do the same ones and you can progress a little bit faster or you're going to actually be very grateful later on when some of the events going to show up and you save the proper items for it. So let's begin from very, very start. You get your journey with proper civilization. Like I, my mistake was to start with Rome. It's not a bad civilization. Actually, I was surprised this could be even better, uh, but let's move on and choose the correct one like Germany because you're gonna have advantage of your unit attack, your training speed, and you just wish that it's gonna be higher. 5%. You can, can sound this a little bit low, but if you're going to add it some, you know, some research proper level of your buildings and if you're going to do another like uh, collecting runes for your training, then this all combined it will be wonderful for you. And every single percent for your training going to be more than welcome because you just need to train, train, train all the time, train those units. Action points recovery is is very important part of the game because to to uh, to get a good progress to upgrade your commanders you need to attack uh, barbarians most most of the time and under neutral units to do so you're gonna work on your commanders and the correct ones I'm gonna talk about this very soon but the germany uh, give you the extra extra uh, recovery of those points so you're gonna use them all and make sure you use them all don't waste them uh, like I did many times. I was busy, real life is more important, of course, but if you have a proper event, then definitely you should look after this kind of details. Britain gonna help you, definitely gonna be good choice for you if you're gonna start with this commander. So starting commander is also important, the same as, uh, you know, so some of the bonuses from, from this uh, civilization. Uh, training, Speed, again, this is cool. So already two bonuses from that one. Uh, bonus for arches uh, for the attack. Don't look after, you know, special units uh, at the beginning of your game. It's going to be really long time until you're going to get there. So just take it easy with this part. You might actually change your civilization on something else later on. So this is the special units uh, for a later part of the game. And don't worry about this one. The garrison capacity, 20%. This is not going to be useful. Uh, at the beginning, to be honest, unless it's going to be a lot of combats out there and you need to, you struggle like uh, to defend your castles, you actually have a teammates to support you, then this is going to make sense. You know, there can be different situation in a kingdom. Sometimes can be very nice and uh, neutral, then everyone working together to become strong kingdom against other ones. And it can be actually the place when you fight from very beginning or over everything. Now, well, that's what you just need to figure out. If you want to move from that kingdom to the better one, uh, on the, also on the beginning of your game. So check up your teleports, check your options and look out over, over chats. Because if you see too many argues, too many wars and too many threats, then you can figure out what kind of players are out there uh, in, your, in your current situation in your game. Uh, let's move on. France. Uh, I would try to avoid this uh, choosing this civilization because of the uh, bonuses what are here gonna give you more benefit uh, during the last some combats. But there is just very nice choice over here and it's something better. Good thing from France are is actually that commander, starting commander, but it is very easy to unlock it anyway. So you don't choosing this civilization on the beginning. Uh, Vikings are the new civilization, uh, but this is something what you don't need to worry about at the at the beginning as well. Spain already mentioned, I think, in my first part of from the first video from this game. This is gonna be very good uh, to choose for your uh, your uh, farm account. Sorry, your alt when you're trying to produce your resources or start collecting them from very beginning. Because later, if your main castle is going to progress fast enough, you're going to have uh, enough speed ups, you want to do extra events, but you're going to be run out, running out of uh, resources. So your alt account can support you very nicely. 
sooner sooner you're gonna work on on those then more benefits and you know pluses you're gonna get from from both uh, this is uh, gonna be very cool civilization if you're planning to use your action points daily properly every day sometimes extra or even when there's extra events on to kill additional amount of barbarians then this nation is definitely what you're supposed to are looking after uh, there is extra damage extra uh, attack extra uh, with the damage with rallies as well so this is important if your commanders are good enough strong enough you, uh, or your castle level is higher then you can uh, start to be a rally leader and uh, other players going to be very happy with you because if you're going to do it correctly and um, more time you're going to do it more times you're going to get uh, goodies from it and just benefits for everyone so this is something what you might choose as well spain really very cool with that production of resources you're gonna actually feel the benefit and um, then this was a good choice for you uh, with this part when you unlock uh, when you upgrade your buildings like wood farms and stuff on a higher level uh, and this is not just by doing that research is equally important to increase the production so then you're gonna really feel uh, fantastic about uh, this, uh, choosing Spain uh, on your alt uh, that extra experience for your commanders when fighting with barbarians gonna just benefit your time which you uh, didn't spend on alt when you couldn't when you had to work on your main account that's why just, let's just say it, this about civilization remember guys to clicking the help uh, for your teammates this is equally important for everyone in this game fantastic option i think i said that fantastic word so way too many times in the first part but it's really true and here you can uh, also click help button when you have your units in hospital you want to heal them and your teammates the same you just want to continue uh, combat you want to continue fighting blah 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 if your team is uh, active enough during the combat even with other players and your hospitals filling up really fast healing them faster gonna really benefit you and can can save you save you from being destroyed completely in many cases okay uh, sometimes those numbers uh, looks a little bit small sometimes it's a little bit higher but you keep on working on those farms in a proper way you don't have to upgrade them equally level i've seen this in many games many players doing the same mistake you need to focus on the uh, buildings which you really need like academy or even um, your hospitals your training uh, all those buildings for your for barracks and all that stuff is very important and far more important than any of of those uh, farms and wood and whatever uh, only trying to focus and you actually have to to keep on progress with one of each so you only one of them you're going on a higher level others you don't worry about them you, unless you don't have another choice then you de you you know you're not leaving them to the end of the game you can but it's better to just uh, doing the right way not trying to level uh, every each and one of them on the same level and then you progress with your main uh, main city hall this is that's a big mistake your goal is to unlock t4 you need soon as possible and to do that you really need to have a uh, the certain buildings upgraded on a on a level and you need to do it a uh, fast efficient way you're gonna need a tremendous amount of resources and uh, you're gonna get more from gathering uh, than from those buildings uh, if you do it correctly uh, later on definitely you're gonna go back to it and then you can work on them nice and easy and then you're gonna feel benefits from both because your uni is gonna have enough damage and you're gonna bring enough uh, other rewards resources and also from fighting even barbarians uh, so you're gonna be relaxed uh, upgrading those you can see that i got already uh, I'm ready to, to make an upgrade, but I'm waiting uh, to proceed with other building. I, I wanted to actually do it one of the hospitals. This is far more important for me. There is a war time right now. Uh, or going to start another battles in one or two days. So for me, 
a focus and using my resources on upgrading hospital is far more important. Uh, there is prices are very different than wasting on some of the farms. And some of the upgrading those farms are also not that cheap. So I really prefer to save some of the resources and use it on the correct building in correct time. Okay, so guys, another tip for you, check up what's going on. Check what kind of uh, situation here go going on. Maybe it's better to leave the buildings or slow down on them and speed up your research. Like today, I speed up one of my research uh, yesterday and that was a mistake. Uh, not a huge mistake because there was small research, but I want to start a new one. But in general, uh, you can look after those numbers here if it's going to be enough, if you're not going to use all your speed ups right away. So you're not going to struggle next day when you actually can win, uh, you know, something nice around here. I'm very close and I still got 17 hours to, to finish this. I definitely gonna uh, accomplish this one. Another part, gathering resources. So you need uh, lots of uh, troops. You look after which uh, type of resource you need uh, the most. In this situation, doesn't matter what, you just need to, you know, gather, gather all the time. And those numbers, you can look like they are huge, but actually you saw one hospital gonna cost me even more uh, than I gonna get by accomplish this event. Gather resources, very important. So in, so going to this subject, looking after your commanders. We have this already said about your starting commander. They have to be someone who gonna be good for, you, for attacking barbarians. This is very popular and very common uh, commander to support you in that area because she got that special speciality as a peacekeeping and you 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 putting your talents uh, you know for for this you're trying to get better and blah 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 and i can tell you one thing what i noticed in other youtubers they everyone saying you have to use them because she can attack two barbarians in uh, in the same time let's go uh, on the map and let's have a look on that situation so uh, they are separate, but we need to find someone who's definitely going to be closer. There, oh, like this one. So if I'm going to attack 29 or 33, I, I would prefer to attack 33 in, in the first place because I, at the beginning, I'm stronger when I have a full march of units. And then additionally, 29 going to start fighting with me anyway because of her skill. She's going to attack both. The problem here is, which none of those YouTubers said it, she can get you in trouble, especially on the beginning of a game. Let's say, let's, let's just think about it, this is so clear. You are not that strong to attack everything and everyone around it. In many cases, they are, you are going for barbarians level 15, but next to it is level 21, 25. So you go in there and you are happy. Oh, I'm gonna save few points or action points uh, for for attack because as soon as she gonna use her skill on the second barbarians, they start attacking you. It, this doesn't cost you any those of those action points. So yeah, huge benefits. But what benefit is that if that higher level gonna destroy you? You're not receiving anything and you have extra units to heal. You're wasting your time. So make sure you're not using this commander all the time and or not attacking the areas which are gonna put you in danger. At least I think I think so. Uh, the same situation is when going for other neutral units. Oh, they are destroyed here. Let's find another one. You guys see how popular is this? Everyone wanna get those. Just look at that. Gathering speed, an additional percentage. I think I mentioned about this in part one. If you missed it, make sure you're gonna watch that video. Yeah. <laughs> in many games what you play just did, did you ever notice then you, your gear give you 30 percent to attack or or, or 80 percent attack this bonus that bonus this and your research 50 percent for attack this 100 percent and when you're doing the fighting the combat the gathering you can't feel that percentage at all a very huge difference between those uh, games and this one uh, when the percentage actually is recalculated different way. The, 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 the main number is not equal to 
things what's happening on the map. You need to recalculate this couple times and divide it by another main number and then you have a small additional percentage to, to the things what you're actually doing on the map. So there was uh, some some games uh, very recent I was playing and it's just happening all the time. Some of those runes are really, really cool. But I don't know where are guardians now. Maybe we're going to have to move to a different kingdom for a moment. This one is done, right? I already checked this area. Yep. Let's have a look. No, yeah. Should be. Yeah, those guardians. Very beginning of your game, they a uh, little bit hard you're doing this with the teammates don't go by yourself it's very nice to benefit entire team everyone who's going to be active in, in, in the time when you agree to do it then don't be selfish remember it's bonuses for everyone not just for yourself that's another thing what you have to remember work together uh, teamwork in this game is i think is far more important than anything else what i'm uh, what i what i said so far uh, so it's different different levels of those depends on us uh, that stronghold if it's level one or five or something uh, then better rewards but those guardians are far more stronger uh, you know you need to think if you're ready to attack them so usually you're doing this together with your teammates uh, so attacking those and uh, get yourself in trouble by additional skill from that commander is also uh, not very good especially when I notice many times we're going this together and there is one leader who give the word to attack. Nobody's supposed to just click and oh, let's go. Waiting for command and everyone is ready. Everyone is uh, good to go and then wait for your for the word from a team leader. Uh, the, the, at least the, the one who's going to lead in the attack on the guardians in the in the time when you're doing that. It's very important if I've seen my players just go for it and then uh, with that commander would using the skill and then she start attacking another one it's all messed up another players are still on the way they are pissed off then nobody wait for them and so on so trying to avoid the bullshit like this is the same with uh, gathering resources stay on and gather resources on your map on your territory uh, don't go and just trying to steal the resources from others because this is a really bad thing to do and create conflicts. So why why putting yourself in this kind of position? Even if you are stronger than them, you shouldn't do that. Okay, uh, unless you're trying, to, you're planning to, uh, you really have a war. Okay, uh, there is another stuff where very important. Make sure you're gonna clear those titles in full. If you don't post the cords and you will go go back return to them a little bit later on but it's very bad be, far more better sorry to just clear them all this is a very easy thing to do when you click on gather and new troops this those commanders which you got unlocked uh, for present uh, march gonna be automatically usually for gathering choose the best uh, in a situation what you have so she's gonna have that food gathering speed higher than any other available commander in my castle uh, so with that being said you're actually looking at your number how much resources you can gather in one go you're looking on the load so i got over just a small tiny little bit over the amount what i need out there is that correct or not so if i'm gonna send down uh, for for that that means i'm gonna leave going to be some leftovers so it's going to be a mistake but the only thing what you have to do is sometimes you can switch uh, some of those commanders to increase that uh, level uh, and this is only take a few seconds and it's actually not going to cost you too much with a uh, you know sending different units different type but usually if you have a siege enough amount of siege uh, then you're good, good to go you don't have to be worried about it's not going to be enough but just look at the number and it's going to give you uh, less headaches later on if some of your teammates going to complain in and the team leader going to be pissed off because listening to all the complaints all the time is happening so often and then just so many players are sick of it and then there is fights 
you know more fights and what you're trying to avoid you trying to get stronger and fight with the real enemies which are gonna come to your kingdom or you're gonna go to their kingdom to do this some damage this is what you get ready for uh, zooming in uh, going back to the castle I just want to send some one for their rally it's gonna few minutes uh, he won cavalry I think I got that ready so we are joining with cavalry so we're not sending any uh, units what that person doesn't want in their rallies that's another part well I get distracted from my own video so many rallies uh, in the in the team right now and I just trying to not miss any of them but it's very hard if your team is active enough uh, powerful enough later on in the game you might notice that it's gonna be uh, one rally after another so make sure you got a good amount of those troops but going back to commanders uh, remember she's great easy to upgrade very powerful very helpful but can get you in trouble on the beginning of your game so just be careful uh, of choosing the target another thing what I can mention to you guys save your damn golden stars from very beginning of your game don't waste them just to on any commander try avoid even if you're gonna get excited then you unlock some legend other legendary one like viking one <clears throat> it doesn't mean that he's good to to invest uh, your stars in it and your experience your time in general look how many stars you need to from uh, go from fourth to fifth star on your commander the percentage is so low uh, what I doing like uh, in a situation like this collecting as many as possible upgrading higher as, as possible and just before the end I'm trying to mix those stars with something like this to have uh, the luck the percentage of that luck higher and maybe you're gonna be that lucky to get uh, you know the the missing uh, percentage for free and uh, this is gonna be accomplished think about it uh, the amounts here what you're gonna uh, what you're gonna need to upgrade fewer commanders like this uh, is gonna take you a really uh, long time oh well there are some players who are spending lots of money to do that and they have a faster so if you're free to play player you need to look after the details like this even uh, more than anyone else again okay, uh, going with uh, some of the epic uh, commanders very nice uh, gonna help you a lot with uh, attacking barbarians and easy to upgrade easy to get is just need to really be patient and don't waste this, uh, too many stuff to upgrade the skills out there you will be able to get them from proper events and then you are good to rock and roll Sansu is the one of your uh, targets when it comes to epic commanders and this one you're gonna focus to upgrading to help you defending your castle or to attack other players or even taking this as a secondary commander to support your main commander in the combat uh, because his skills are wonderful and my mistake with this guy was uh, to not upgrading the first skill on the maximum first because this is the one of the most uh, helpful one he attacking three targets in the same time uh, so higher damage and everything else here than better okay make sure you're gonna uh, have your sk first skill on a five then you're gonna go to the next he's great for the defense because his uh, special specialization is garrison uh, so here you can invest you can go with him as a fighting uh, and set him up as an as a inventory leader or investing a little bit in the skills moving on as a beginning of your game make sure you're working on your gathers gathering resources like i was saying before uh, centurion is going to be one of your first uh, ones to unlock the very fast one to get uh, extremely easy to upgrade later on what you can do with him is adding additional gear to help the you know get resources even a better way uh, this one gonna give me five percent to gathering speed there is a whole harvest set out there uh, you're gonna think about this this kind of stuff a little bit later after you upgrading your city hall 
you get the disc commander on a, on a certain level already level 40 i think is well good enough you don't have to go even higher than this you're not going to use this commander to any kind of combat so you don't have to worry about that stuff with the skills and this one i wouldn't uh, be bothered if you're doing the the first one first or, or the second no it's actually going on a third one in this case very important the most important but but you're gonna do it very fast anyway gathering speed bonus 10 percent load 10 percent help you really a lot i'm very happy setting up the talents is always also not no headaches whatsoever because you're just trying to upgrade it everything to speed up uh, your uh, gathering those resources out some of this i don't even need but i don't even care if this commander is gonna get attacked he his only purpose is to get us resources gathering those resources as soon as possible um, sarka is another uh, example the same situation uh, she's a little bit better different level let's not forget the qualities uh, here is blue she's also very easy to upgrade with the uh, uh, skills uh, very good one gathering bonus is better load bonus is better as it should be as a higher quality uh, commander the difference is when it comes to uh, her she's from france and she is wonderful for gathering resources but also for supporting your main command uh, some of your main commanders during the combat doesn't matter if you're attacking barbarians or you got the uh, fighting with other players her wonderful at the most uh cool uh, those skills skill what you're looking for the bonuses for your troops is is just great uh, and then an additional healing factor is also something what you're looking after gathering one is not such a big a deal here unless you're using her only for gathering but would be mistake really uh, get her as your second commander to support your main fighting one is great thing to do so when you go on skills and setup this is my situation so i'm not gonna focus on the second one right now i don't really care about this centurion and other and other dudes doing their job i need her the third skill as soon as possible on that uh fifth level okay this is this is how i'm doing it and then i'm gonna worry about even uh the fourth one the this this one is very lost in this situation only very really huge amount of those commanders in a game and depend depending on your kingdom how old is your kingdom there is going to be more unlocked uh, they are already in the game they are all prepared out there they're just waiting uh richard is one of the most uh, popular but it's going to be one of those special legendary ones first one as the first to unlock uh, for additional gems um, very cool one you can uh, plus a uh, plus and you can find out how to get that commander so wheel of fortune this is something what i don't like in the games because it's gamble i don't like gambling myself uh, and this can very trick some players to to addiction and to thinking oh maybe next one gonna be lucky maybe next one maybe next one and sometimes you're spending a lot of stuff lots of money and you're not gonna get what you want anyway some 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 players are more lucky but let's let's face it they are real life and not believe something like luck in in general uh, gambling is wrong but this is the way how this works this is the way how you're unlocking that commander remember you don't have to do this all the time you just need you can proceed with unlocking him and then using the gold one, gold uh, stuff uh, to proceed with um, skill upgrade. So this is this is another like uh, the positive stuff which I like in a in a game like this. Okay, uh, this is what we looking for. The same as the golden stars. This is even far more important, far more expensive. Make sure you're not wasting any on this. Even here, I want to upgrade that commander. I wanted to level him up as soon as possible and blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to use those uh, those uh, special, very rare items to do that. Uh, let's, let's just check this again. If you're going to click on a plus, 
we can see then if we lucky we can get some of this uh, the points and items for this commander from tavern some special expeditions so chests uh, some uh, special events nice to, that we can can check nice then we can plan in advance uh, and try to avoid those mistakes uh, yeah I don't want to make this video too long uh, I because I've been distracted and I had a, like half an hour break from uh, between the putting this together I'm already a little bit confused what I was talking <laughs> before maybe with the lights gonna be also better to record this so I know I talk about civilization VAP then commanders uh, upgrading some of the buildings uh, is very very important and make sure you're gonna do that uh, so before your research is you know fully finished very important to to time uh, those two things properly it's gonna give you huge benefits another stuff using your um, your action points daily don't waste them there is free uh, and some free uh, 500 of those point recovery daily uh, so just you just have to use them make sure you're not wasting them I did many times but the real life is far more important to the game remember that uh, adding any benefits any points uh, remember that like for the production especially level up of your farms uh, and then use those that's gonna be your benefit otherwise you're not gonna feel that uh, massive production uh, and other things which you should do uh, all the time is daily objectives this is one of the wonderful wonderful things in the game because everyone wanted to do them it's worth for everyone to do that super cool rewards super easy thing to do the tasks like recruiting 200 units here and there uh, killing few barbarians using some resources and you already have those points so you don't have to accomplish all of those tasks and uh, your target is the the last obviously last chest with the golden key and some gems in it and some later even you know the, those golden crystals is all combined gonna benefit your game uh, another stuff when it comes to courier station when you level your city hall you can unlock this uh, making a proper shopping here so every time I see the deal 120 exchange for 150 I'm gonna do that don't put too many resources outside your castle because there is only limited amount which you can keep it safe so other other players go, can uh, you know show up and they want to get easy resources to keep their progress going uh, so look after this building uh, if you if your kingdom is you know dangerous and lots of fights around you uh, this is definitely num one of the top buildings to upgrade before other constructions uh, what you have in on your plan the amount of resources is very little to to keep it safe so try to uh, put them in the boxes by making proper shopping and uh, on the courier uh, uh, station okay so even for, for that gold this is still worth it exchange for speed ups in my opinion is always worth it nobody can buy time to be honest so we're just going for all of those we, I'm never spending any gems in here even if it's, it's super cool stars I just I'm afraid to play player here and I'm not gonna be wasting my gems for any of this I'm gonna I have I am patient and I know I'm gonna achieve what I want anyway I got plenty of fun in the game without uh, spending money I could buy some packs some of them are very very cool uh, it's not a mistake to do that it's, it's gonna benefit your account your gameplay even better uh, but uh, this all depends on your situation and if you're playing any other games so you know plan your spendings in your real life is always a, a huge tip and huge benefit to do okay some healings we're gonna join the rallies again I've got some chests to open so make sure when you're upgrading your tavern uh, the there is increased number of free chests which you can open with the silver ones and reduce time on another two 
uh, how fast you can open the free one so just again make sure you remember to uh, to open that we can open even extra one I need uh, I need this experience I need everything whatever I can get on my hands on right now it's gonna be a fight uh, very soon and more things I do now are gonna be better for me later on that's it for this video I hope I didn't miss any information if I did I'm gonna add it to the uh, future parts I'm definitely gonna record something and uh, very soon uh, you can stay with my channel check out the playlist for other titles uh, other games out there some late reviews as well um, old game doesn't mean a bad game okay guys sometimes is a uh, benefit of that is also cheaper game uh, you can relax you can enjoy your time on it that's the main uh, main reason why we're playing games uh, this is our entertainment i hope my video is going to help you uh, in some areas going to cheer you up and even if you do it mess made some mistakes I did mistakes and I still gonna play I still gonna enjoy the games so I don't really you shouldn't care about this kind of like details all right thank you very much for watching really appreciate all the likes uh, my, my subscribers uh, new ones welcome old ones very much appreciate and you're staying with my channel for for uh, for some time already uh, well I'll see you hopefully in uh, some of the games that I play uh, guys remember then uh, rise of kingdoms is a mobile game you can also play on the pc but on the your smartphone or your tablets you're gonna have a far better experience working uh on the on the computer is not too bad but it's, it's far more better on the on the tablet i think okay guys see you next time thank you for watching